It's the last bad guy, Bits and Bites. Hello, this is Kakujo and Gun. Welcome back to Undertale. We've got one more enemy to kill and I can only seem to find them on this bridge. That is not a place you need to go in the, if there's a state of emergency, although it kind of makes sense. Alphys is supposedly leading all the monsters out from underground. Here it goes. And maybe there's a waiting line? I don't, I don't know, they're all stuck on this bridge or something. Gah, isn't this what always happens every time there's a natural disaster? Everyone's like, get in line for the, the saving line. And then everyone's just kind of stuck in the saving line. It's supposedly what Canadian healthcare is like, although I've been told by... I, I, I hear two things. People who don't want free healthcare to be in America say it's really slow. Canadians just say it's not that slow. But is it a... What are we comparing it to, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that, that, that should be it. I almost want to go until it says, but nobody came. Yeah. I mean, it says determination, so, you know, NBD. I, I would win forever, right? Y yeah. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. He'll say it for something kind of specific, I'm told. My, my, so you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Ahaha. <laughs> Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial. There's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming star a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, those original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer, and I'll be forced to show you my true form. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime! Ugh! Oh. This song. Uh, oh, it's this Metaton Neo! <laughs> That's completely new! Normally he changes into Metaton EX or something like that. We've got to fight this guy though. Wait, do I have any healing? Yeah, I've got plenty of heal healing items. What are we talking about? I got a face steak in the shape of your face! Which I guess is still just vaguely sh steak shaped. Whatever, let's do this. D oh, you kill him in one hit too? Nuh uh. I, I guess the Undyne fight set like the standard I thought I was gonna have to keep meeting. Get Guess you don't want to join my fan club. Uh-huh. Dang. He straight up exploded. What? Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. I destroyed Metaton. <laughs> that just felt like so much buildup. Metaton is such a show person. Why? Why? What he just- uh, then again, I guess explosions are the ultimate showstopper, the ultimate crowd pleaser. In fact, why didn't he just blow himself up the second he was born? I mean, that would have just made a lot more sense. Elevator thoughts, right? Is that gum on the floor? Or is that just the tiles? Knowing the monsters here, someone would totally just take all the gum and make it look like tiles. Probably naps to book. Okay, that's enough elevator thoughts. It's time to save and- wow, good lord! Wait, Castle Elevator? Castle Elevator. Oh, right, okay, I was scared because it didn't say anything about determination or, you know, one person left or whatever. But, I want to say those three areas that we had cleared out were all there were to the genocide run. Otherwise, I'm screwed and I just saved over my perfectly good genocide run. <laughs> it's probably not, it's probably not what you, you think it is. Well, I for one would be pleased. I know you'd be pleased! Someone's playing chess wrong. It's not supposed to be this many rooks. It's supposed to be like two, four at max. What the heck? New home. Wait, new home? Uh, I want to say we're still in the genocide run because I want to say that save point says something different if you're not on the genocide run. Yep, see this red text? He leaves them in the kitchen in the hallway. It's as if something within me knows this home. It's a golden flower. Oh. I guess whether you're evil or good, we can all appreciate the flowers. Howdy, Kakujo. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? Hehe. <laughs> Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. Oh. Normally, whenever these account descriptive encounters pop in, it's some monsters telling you a nice little story. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Stovetop. I've read this already. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Well, that's not different. No chocolate. Eh? Man, all this text is pretty much different. 
Crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Yes, I do know it looks a lot like the home at the beginning. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Somebody help me! I called out. But nobody came. This is wonderful. I'm really... You've really got to play all three of the routes to fully know the lore. I mean, without just wikipedia it all. Is that, the, is that the verb, wikipedia -ing? There's a heart-shaped blocket inside the box. Will you take it? I'm carrying too much, though. What's in this? Knife inside the box. Will you take... Oh, dude, a real knife? Oh, awesome. Uh, hold on, I gotta go, like, drop something or something, or I'm gonna have to use this bandage, I guess. You've reapplied the bandage. Gross. Nasty. Okay, Bax, it's time for you to come back for real. You were talking earlier inside of Gun's body, which is, you know, I'm not gonna ask, I'm going to assume it's something to do with the fact that you're essentially still a melee weapon. Well, it's still a little ranged, but yeah, he's in here. Yes! And where have we been having a long, lengthy discussion on how to handle you? How to handle me? We're at the end, guys. It's not time to change stuff. And Gun, you're usually on the side of killing stuff. Yeah, usually, but... well, whatever. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he held me, Kakujo. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there. Everything is going to be all right. He was so... emotional. But, for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Because you can't love. You took the key and put on your keychain. So anyway, I got this real knife. See ya, gun. Yeah, no problem. See ya. Good, I don't want you two conspiring against each other, or with each other. It's me, Kakujo. So now I've got this real knife, which is it's normally not a real knife. Uh, experience is 50,000, next is 49. Ah, I guess I've maxed out my experience or something? I need... What? I need one more experience to... I, I've won... I'm two experience over, actually, is, is what it is. What, to what? Oh, whatever, one experience. Attack is really good right now. This real knife is going to do wonders. It's just a chair. The entries are always the same. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champions 90... Oh, that's sickeningly despicably adorable. It still has that sweater. Nothing useful. It's a king-sized bed. What about this picture on the wall? Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Aw. Such sweet thoughts. Such quaint notions. I'm gonna kill everyone. I need to go f uh, I'm gonna drop some of this dog residue, I guess. I mean, it hasn't done me any good so far. Usually you can use it to cheese Temmie's area, the Temmy shop, right? Uh, okay, take out... D take it. Take out... D uh, I'm gonna have to drop something, aren't I? I guess it'll have to be the Temmie Flakes. A quiet farewell to the Temmie Flakes. Faintly in the distance, you hear. Alright, so we're going to... I, I guess, yeah, we're just gonna... I, I'm gonna have to start dropping stuff, eh? I mean, otherwise, I guess I'll just pick up the heart-shaped locket. You got the locket. It's even a different name this time, I believe. You can feel it beating. Gross! Did it just say defense like a million billion? Armor defense 99? No way! 99.99! <laughs> My attack is maxed, son! I unlocked the chain. The date I came here. B book? There's, there's just a book with the date you came here on it? I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, Kakujo. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> that's just... Oh, that's so sad. Can't you just gonna make me wiggle around while you say these things? I realized these two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Kakujo, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. What, and shove someone else's soul inside of my body? I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. Uh, Flowey? We did go to grade school, right? But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you, uh... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. 
I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. <gasps> and thusly gaining- What? That's how you gain power over time and space, is hatred? Or at least one of the ways interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Kakujo? I was amazed too. I don't know what that push. Don't tell him. I don't think he knows land the power. Dang it, Flowey! Can you just say it all? Can you just send a note? Is there a tittle tilder? At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing for a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. Huh. He's an alt Rhea. He's like kind of a, what do, you, what do you call it, a clone type as far as, you know, story themes go. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sick weirdos that stand around and watch it happen. Ooh. Hey, it's some nice. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. Hey, he said it. It's his words. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to... Did, did I jump scare you? It's starting to get a little spooky is all. Nowadays, even that's growing tiring. You understand, Kakujo. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've read every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone. I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Kakujo. Yeah! Finally! Being random isn't just something you can say you are in high school. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Kakujo, your determination. Somehow it's even greater than mine. Natty boys. I just have one question for you, Kakujo. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left, and decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling? Yeah, I heard a plant making its leaves rustle, because that's something that's in poetry, but honestly, I just can't even. It just sounds like a whole bunch of vacuums. It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Kakujo. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Kakujo, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let's see... Let's let them see what you bet it is really like. That despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, no. There's always pie. Then? Well... I had, uh, been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. Kakujo, I, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. Oh, is this true happiness? It's a good thing flowers don't talk in real life, I guess. We don't need, even need them to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Kakujo, I know he'll do it for you. Why? Is it because I got skin? Why am I telling you all of this? Kakujo, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. Nah, ain't got none of that. I literally don't know the meaning of the world. Or, or, or the word. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So... That's... Why... Uh-oh. Someone's getting cold feet. <laughs> What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Kagojo, no hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, that's a new face. B back off! I'm coming for you, baby! And I got a nice little knife. It cuts flesh and plants. I, I have to change my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. Y you should go back, Kagojo. This place is fine the way it is! S stop making the creepy face! This isn't funny! You've got a sick sense of humor! 
Also, I've only got one facial expression, so maybe have a little sensitivity, you nerd. Uh, this is my last chance to use the box, so to speak. Alright. I guess we'll continue on, because I think I know what's coming up next. Next episode! Everyone, thanks for watching! Please leave a like and share this video with flowers that talk a really long time. And until next video, see you then! What are you doing? Why are you breaking wood with a pickaxe? And why are you opening and closing a door? What is this, art?